Hi, this is Kelly from Petaka Kelly and Play Learn Talk, and in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create an activity using the fill in the blank feature. So you'll notice here that I have an activity that is related to clothing vocabulary, and I'm using this page as like a practice page or a review page before the students go and play a game involving this vocabulary. So when we preview it, you'll see we have like a picture and we have the written label and we have a blank box to the right of this. I have pre-made this background um, in Keynote ahead of time and so it makes it easier actually when I'm doing the fill in the blank because I know the correct proportions and everything. Um, but I want this blank area to actually be a, a fill in the blank box so it gives the student a chance now to work on their spelling skills and also their capitalization skills. Okay, now I will point out that you can also use these fill in the blank boxes for full sentences or multi sentences, like for open responses. And I think they are a fantastic tool that I do not see um, boom sellers using enough. They're so great. So I highly encourage you to start using these um, in other things aside from little, little tasks like this. Okay, so let's go ahead into the workstation and see how to do it. So we're going to come over here. This left column has all of the things that you can pull out. We're going to pull out fill in the blank, of course. It's right above the sound. Okay, so we're going to pull it out and then we let go of it. And it's going to give us this box. So it says double tap to edit. It's a transparent box. Before you double tap on it, what I like to do is come over here and actually put it where it's supposed to go. So I'm going to size it down. Okay, so that looks good. That's actually exactly how we want it. But sometimes when you do it, um, you know, it's off a little bit. So let's say it's like here, okay? And you don't want it to be like that, especially if you've pre-made the background. So you're gonna click on this blue tab and then using the arrow on your keyboard, you're just gonna tab up, okay? So now it's in the correct spot. So now we can double click on it and it's gonna give these uh, options to us. So we wanna designate the answer. That's the answer we want. We wanna type in case sensitive, okay, and hit submit. And then let's see, if you were doing like a long sentence response, you'd want to select something like multi-line so that it allows this area to scroll, but we're not doing that. And then if you wanted to have a student write their response that later can be stored for you, know, you to see, you can do an open response. So it actually has the information here. Um, so we don't want that one either. Okay, so for font size, I, I tend to have a problem on font size. So I don't know if it'll do it in this tutorial, but if I come over here and click up on here, do you notice how the number, like it dropped back down to nine. It shouldn't do that, but it always does for me. <laughs> um, now it's kind of staying, but my workaround has been, and if you encounter this problem too, I, re I recommend this, is you just double click on it and you're gonna change it to the size that you want, okay? So I'm gonna make it size 20, and then I am going to actually come out and double check it. Okay, so that looks like a good size right here. Now let's go preview it and see if everything works. So let's go ahead and type in the incorrect response. It's incorrect because it's not capitalized. We're gonna check it by hitting the submit button. Oops. And we got that incorrect feedback and it highlighted the box red, so that's what we wanted. Okay, so now what we need to do is duplicate this and use it on these other areas. But actually, I wanna show you, let's see, you can change the font here. So let's say we wanted to actually change the background and the font. So let's make the font white. Okay, you can hit apply. So now you won't see it, but it is actually there. And we're gonna come over to background over here, and we're gonna change the background to black. Okay, so we could do it like that as well. So now, to um, save ourselves time, we are going to click on that little blue tab and do Command C, Command V, okay? And we're gonna move this over and place it in the same spot, okay? Now I'm going to actually click on both of those and do Command C, Command V to duplicate both of them and move those down. Okay, this one's a little bit off, okay? So I'm gonna fix it there. And let's do that again, Command C, Command V and move it down. So we're saving ourselves a lot of time here just by duplicating them. Now I'm gonna grab all three of these. Now I'm grabbing all of them by clicking on it and hitting command on my keyboard. I'm holding my finger down as I click on all of them with my mouse. Now I'll note on this last one, I didn't click that tab. So if I do command C, command V, 
it may have, oh, that's going to be hard to explain to you actually. It may have um, copied them from over here. So this is a hard example. I shouldn't have even brought it up because you won't be able to see it here. But my point in stating this is that you want to make sure you click here on this blue tab. I did another video on it um, because it may not consistently copy multiples if you don't do that. Okay, so we'll just move these over. Okay, this one here. Okay, so now we're pretty much done. The only thing we need to change is the actual word that's being designated, right? So to do that, we're going to double click and then we're going to type in the word shorts and we're going to get rid of this one. Oops, we're going to do this shorts and submit. Okay, and we'll come over here. We want to get rid of boots first and then change it to mask, submit. Okay, and then you just would go through each of them. So make sure you delete it first. It's going to pop open, um, you know, a, a new area for you to write in. And you just go through that whole process. Okay, so I'm not going to do the whole thing for this video. You get the idea of it. I hope you enjoyed this and that it uh, was helpful for you and maybe inspired you to create something with this fill in the blank technique. Uh, please give a like and share with a friend or share with a fellow creator who might also find this useful. And as always, I would appreciate a comment or you reaching out to me on Pataka Kelly on Instagram and just letting me know what videos you'd like to see next. All right. Bye.